Tell me about this instrument. Tell me about it. This one, you see, <coughs> this one is, uh, uh, if you today ask some of the hip, hip life stars, what is this instrument? They, they, they would even, they would, they, it would be a shock for them because they don't know. And even myself, I made a research. I met uh, Osei at the uni University Logan. And that's when the first time I saw it, Osei played it, man. I was shocked, I'm amazed. I opened my mouth like this and I said, can you show me? Before then, I even learned how to play Kora. Kora. I was playing Kora and Bira and all those instruments. I said, wow, if this is my Ghanaian instrument, yes. I'm going to hold it. Yes. Then I took it and now I'm playing. This one is called Se Prewa. Se means speak. Prewa, like strike me and I will, I will speak. Okay. So now this one is like a key and I have in Bira, I play about 14 different instruments. Wow. That, that doesn't make me uh, to boast or no, but it's an inspiration so that the children of today can see that hey, if Afro Moses can do this, I can also do better than him. Some years back, um, it was on the news, but most people didn't hear, very few people heard about it. You were uh, nominated for an Oscar, or you won, one of the two, tell me about it. Uh, it was a film from South Africa, and uh, the producer from Australia, they made a film in Af South Africa, and it's a short film okay. about India, about racism. The way they made the film was amazing. Then I was in the studio playing in Bira, and the guy saw me and said, wow, we want to show you this film and we need you to do something. When I watched the film, I composed a song, Reap What You Sow. So they made an instrumental and I sang that one on the, the other was the soundtrack. Yeah. Then I played the Imbira and I played, so they used a lot of instruments. Then within a year, it was nominated in an Oscar award. It was a really big thing. Even I was there in the news and also Ghana here, and even the Ghana, they, they, they classified that I was the first Ghanaian to make something to reach that one. I'm saying this not exactly. to brag, but I'm feeling very good and proud of, yes. Uh, yes. Uh, yes. and also the, like some years ago, I was on the Mnet, yes. and um, also become the first very Ghanaian first to, be to be on there. Mnet. Yeah. So I think I, I love to, to create something and one day you wish and, and so that's why I wanted to tell the, the young people today that when you are for poor family, don't always say, oh, we are there in here, queen, in here, queen. If you say in here, queen, in here, see the queen. But if you take yourself out from the here and say, wow, I can make it, you can make it. When you started and wanted to do music, did you dream or did you think you would get to that level you've gotten to? That's a good question because I remember and I will never forget, when I was seven years, there was a funeral and they were playing Bosia drum. And when I was standing there, all of a sudden, a dream like, a, like I'm sleeping. And I, was, I saw myself standing in front of in thousands of white people. I was the only black singing. And I told my mother, and my mother said, let it be. Then I said, I started to follow my dream. So that's why I want to say to people, I go to school to also teach them African music and things like that. And also a kind of, even recently, like two years ago when I came, I went to my town, the village there, because some people they believe in superstition. Mm -hmm. And I don't believe in superstition because you don't have no power on me, no way. 
in, and I'm saying it this because the power that God has given me, nobody can take it away. Yes. So that's why I went there and I said, look, if I, if me from the surrounded witches, if I can make it, you can make you it. Can so make don't it. ever dream that. Even I even tell them not to watch these films like uh, Anyen Freeman, mm -hmm. Samain. Uh, yes. All these yeah. things have power, you know, have power, big power. If you believe it, that's what you get. Uh, wrapping up here, talking to Afro Moses now. One question. Of all the performances you performed, of all the shows that you've done, which one do you think is the, is the best one? The one that you totally enjoyed? And yeah, that was the first time a Salificator stood there and watching me to play with my band. Mm -hmm. And he said a lot of good things because he was my idol. Okay. I love his, the way his voice and, the way, yes, and he, yeah. he also, also admired me. That was really good. Then also the Oscar award and a lot of things I can't even remember okay. some of them. Okay, nice. So we've been talking to Afro Moses, I mentioned earlier, known to the world, the people in Europe, as the leader of the band Moses Oja. Finally, um, what would you like to tell the people of Ghana? What? The? What would you like to tell the people of Ghana, your fans, people in Ghana who love your music, the people who don't know you, people who know you, the young people, the older people who've enjoyed you in the past? I used to remember, man, back in the days, Back in the days when he gets on stage, Miss Ghana and all that. It's amazing. Thank you. It's amazing. I mean, those days, you still have this song. You still have this song. I don't remember, but. Hey, police, Wanu Kati Kati Choboy. Tia Debi Madakatia. He used to have this song, I think most drivers used to, used to, used to love so much. And you can see, you, you go through town and people shout it at each other. Those were the days. It was amazing, and you know, anything you want to say to the people. All I would say to, first of all, to the whole nation, to come together as one. And if any president come, we have to support him, so that we can reach the place. And we have to minimize our argument and all that because that will take us back. back yes. So they help the nation, so that we can the nation come because we are all proud. Then also, my young, the young people also they keep dreaming and also try to develop their music and dream high that it will one day come true and also feeling good is the best thing in life if you take one oath from good it becomes God so if you're feeling God then God is with you thank you very much Afro Moses on a low Tigo that's amazing I totally enjoyed this interview trust me it's it's, it's probably only on this show that you get to meet legends like Afro Moses play for us live and get to know what you're doing for Africa and Ghana a low Tigo commercial maker come back stay on <laughs> Sunday, that's Sunday.